UK uh, Blue Race, but um, the uh, the Japanese uh, Blu-ray release is probably, I mean, it's a, uh, the, the UK Berserk release is a three, three disc release, while the uh, Japanese release is a five disc release. Mm. Uh, oh, and oops. This show called Berserk, um, if you want to watch it with us, Blue Dragon, there's an opportunity, but the schedule, you'll have to conform to our schedule pretty much on this case. Yeah, uh, there's quite the. Uh, we will not wait if you randomly don't show up because oh my god. <laughs> there's no stopping this uh, yeah. right train. Oh, the the berserkal jerk train. Yes. It's actually a meme from uh, the berserk meme subreddit. Although it relates more to the 2016 version. <laughs> if you guys do, how? I was like reacting in my head to all of this conversation. Um, an infinite amount of question marks would not go for it. Yes, I'm sure. Hold on. I freeze up. I, I can't I can't both aim and look at the radar. And I choose aim every time, sadly. <laughs> um interesting. Yeah hi, uh, I I'm playing again. Got a game again. This that you choose to aim over the radar. You wanna go? Wanna go? Oh, oh shit, he goes. He goes hard. Harder than me. <laughs> Shot down by MSL. Ouch. Ouch. Embarrassing. Oh my god, this guy's a god! This guy has five times the score. This is the new guy, this Natsu. This is the the literal god. <laughs> this is the this is the new the new ace that I've found. Three minutes remaining. Can I be honest? You sound impressed. Yeah, this is the new. This is uh, I keep finding these like, like a new tier of skill, like to be impressed by. There was this. Uh, there was this dude that I found earlier. What the fuck are these missiles? <laughs> A lot is loadout. It must be all the normal missile loadouts. All the normal homing upgrades. Oh great, you dumb dumb. Look at this guy, he's absurd. This Natsu guy is crazy. Um let me pause with you. It just looks like it came straight out of an anime, even as an anime name. I feel pretty good about that one, but uh, he was heavily wounded. Not really that impressive. And can I say this? I hate my voice. You do? If you listen to it on stream, it sounds so fucking bad. That could be your microphone. For real. My microphone is pretty good. Like it's pretty accurate. I've 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 had a friend in the house who spoke into it. And I, I compared his voice to the one in the recording, and it's pretty accurate. So this is like the. Oh my god! Oh my god! This this guy is on another level. This this guy. This guy is smart. This guy is almost. This guy feels like he's just. He um. I I feel like in the fight. This guy probably knows when he's gonna come in for the killing shot. You know what I mean? Like this this guy is so much better than me. 
that that he 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 he, he knows when it's gonna come. Whereas to me, it's like a surprise because he's this guy is like on one uh, at least at least like one more level of anticipation and understanding of like how the planes will fly in relation to each other. Like he just that was insane. Like he was he was just like. Um, he knew exactly when those missiles would go off there. He was already, like, turning away again. So basically, he is, like, uh, king of the ace from the campaign. Yeah, this, 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 this is the best guy I've ever encountered. He's using the, uh, F... F-14D. Uh, Alright, so that's a plane that's, um, uh, worth thinking about then. The F no, that ship, that F-14D. That's a plane that I'll, I'll have. I'll have to look at it. Like, what is it oh, even? It's 14D. He was running missiles too. He, he kept killing normal missiles. I bet he has the the missile loadout. The um the one where you go for normal missile homing upgrades. There's two loadouts I'm gonna make. There's an EML loadout and there's a missile loadout. Yeah, it uses the lamb. Okay, well, the best guy ever uses the lamb. It's just Note to know. Oops. Note to self. A plasma. Please. Right, I'm gonna add this guy. This is the adding friend friending this guy for sure. What is a lamb? It's a, a name of a missile. Mainly, what does it? What's special about the missile? Uh, I think it's a long range, high speed missile. Um, I'm not quite sure. Come on, come on, load. I need your Steam profile. So it's like hit or miss with those kind of missiles. Ah, zero two profile picture, Demis. It's zero two. <laughs> <laughs> we found the real zero two. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> nice. I guess I'm gonna see it in him. Have a look on the stream. <laughs> it's zero yeah, two. <laughs> the ultimate ace is zero two. <laughs> nice. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> From Japan too. Get I? Yep. It's Can an I actual. Know? It's not even a weeb. It's it's a real Japanese person with a Japanese name. It's not even a weeb. It's the Natsu. It's it's actually Natsu. What the fuck? <laughs> um. It's probably his real name. <laughs> the person the picture is. It's zero two. It's a it's a from a from a trashy anime. Oh, that's like, quite famous, quite famous, because it was the the thing to talk about in that season. Explains even more. Oh my god! <laughs> that first was insane. So I've gotten a lot better, and now he got five times my score. Like what the fuck? Like uh, originally I encountered this. Um, there was this Ender Zero or something, and there was another guy that like they were the original like aces. And then I encountered this uh, Aquila and uh, Confused question mark and Origami. But I've surpassed Origami now, in the past few days. Um, but then I encountered, there was one guy that I don't remember the name of and he was really good. Uh, and Aquila is like, you know, I don't know, he might be a little bit better than me. Uh, but when I, when, I know, when I find him, it's like, yeah, yeah, it's a good fight. Um, but then there's like, there's like one guy that's better than me, and then there's this guy, and he's like way better than the, that other guy even. This guy was, in, this guy was absurd. I'll have to, ah, oh, ah, oh, nice, he added me back. Nice, we got him. This, this will be the ultimate, uh, I need to talk to this guy, I need to get him in the Discord, I need to ask um, him, like, how to fly. Just, just tell him if he wants to come say hi to the stream. Uh, sure, no, I'm not gonna do it now, but I'll do it later. Some point. Yeah, this, this guy, oof. So I was wondering why the AI wasn't attacking. I now know why. Death ball. What? Death ball? What do you mean? Is it set to build a big army and move it around in a clump? Um, yes. That's what the AI did. And I'm not able to handle it. Alright, F-15D. It's a multi-role. It's a super tomcat. Interesting. Really cheap though. I guess he put, put all the upgrades on it. Uh, the lamb costs a hundred, so this is an eighteen fifty plane. That means there's room for five fully expensive upgrades on it. Oh. That tier. The lamb, extremely lo extremely long range air to air missile. 
<laughs> he chose that one. He chose that one over the 8 a.m. Unless he was deliberately doing the, the worst plane on purpose to kind of, you know, test his own skill. Um, I'll have to... Why was he fly? I, I wonder why he's flying this plane. There must be something to it, then. It's, it's, it's one or the other. Either this plane is pretty bad, like really, really, really bad, and he just likes the look of... The There's three possibilities. He really likes the look of the plane, he's good enough to make it work anyway, so he uses the one that looks the coolest. I agree that this plane looks pretty cool. It might actually be my favorite um, plane family in the low tier. Cause I don't like um, the I don't like this shit. This Delta Wing. I don't I don't like this shit. It looks, looks stupid. Um, uh, you mean the Mirage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I don't like them. Um, oh, I actually do. That plane is a is a beauty uh, queen plane. Apparently, a lot of people love what this plane looks like, but I don't. I like the more um, I like the more uh, uh, you know. A anime look, I guess, of this plane with the with the the, the like the more mecha look almost, right? Yeah, the, more mecha. And it, it's not, um, I, but I don't like mechs, by the way. I I I hate when space operas have mechs. I really prefer like space planes, right? Um, I think mechs look silly, but um, but what I mean is like the the wings on this thing change, you know? Like the, the this this thing looks more like a sci-fi plane, right? Than like the Mirage, right? The MiG also. The MiG, MiG, MiG looks pretty cool, but it's not like... It's not compared to this thing, right? Singrana, yeah. I sent you a picture of a fighter from an anime show. It's a space fighter, so they did mine, but it can fight in atmosphere, so they... Can fly. Is this from Macross? What is this? That's from Space Battleship uh, Yamato. Okay, right. yeah. Oh, well, it um, looked um, oh. it 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 looked old, so I was like, yeah, is it like Macross? Is is this like Macross? Uh, what is it called again? Macross Plus or whatever? Or no, 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 not was it Macross Plus? Um, there's like that super good one, the artsy one. And what if you the one about you test pilots? And I I've seen it, but um, I I don't know. I thought it might might have been a Macross plane. Cause that's like the um. The, the first one I sent you is like the one that they have a lot of, and the second one I sent you is more like the one for the aces. Yeah, the cool one. Yep. The first one and looks. The first one looks better. <laughs> that's like, that sec that second one. That's such a typical, typical old sci-fi cool plane. Because yeah. it has like the, it has like that little the little spikes like the little like. <laughs> I'll bring it up on the screen. It has like the little. Uh, little spikes that are meant to be just more awesome it's like oh it looks looks more looks more badass it has like that looks more dangerous i think it looks stupid this this one looks way better this is way better this gives me a little bit of a home world worldwide it's like kind of compact you know this looks like a spaceship like compact like not unnecessarily aircrafty the first one looks a little bit like the mirage just a little less uh streamlined uh front which is why I like the Mirage too much. Looks space-ish. Oh, I like the I like the uh, the the wings that just go straight out. That don't. Uh, I don't like planes that look too much like paper airplanes. I like planes with lots of fins going out at like different angles and like like really large fins, not like like tiny. Uh, I I really hate I, I I hate planes that have like the single fin at the back. I like like planes that look look cool and interesting. My favorite plane, I think, in this game is probably the uh, the one with the forward facing wings. In terms of visuals, it looks really cool. The wings yeah. that like go forward rather than like you know get gets blown backwards by the wind wind or whatever like look like look like that, right? What I, like I that one. find cool is like if the forward wings are normal, but the backward wings are reversed. So you get like a sort of um, hollow triangle shape. Yeah, um, I don't know if I like that. That that's um, to me that's that goes too far. At that point, it's too tryhardy. It's trying too hard to look cool, almost. Yeah, to be honest, it is. <laughs> I, I know exactly what shape you mean, by the way. I, I've seen sci-fi planes that look like that. Uh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Windmaker. All aircraft enemy picked up on radar. Commence attack. 
Bring the enemy down together. Okay. Remember, you're not Can't on your resist. Own Have to spend sense space boat. I mean, okay, fuck off. It has a. Wait, well, let, let's think about this. It might have. Demis, it might actually have. Let, 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 there might be some meme plane. There might be some meme plane that's like really shit, but that, that, that I can't picture right now. But I'll think about it after the match. It might actually have. Uh, nice. Don't lose hope yet. It, it might actually have. Um, not in a literal sense, but it might have. It might have, um, like, the real life version of it. Maybe the A10. Maybe the A10. Demas. Yes. Can you explain the joke? It's from uh, it, it's it's a it, it, it's it's a piece of relevant symbolism, done very badly and uh, overused, and it's hilarious how shit it is. From from uh, Darling in the Franks, from the from the Zero Two anime. It's it's from that show. It's rel it's relevant because it's his profile picture and oh. Japanese. That's the joke. It's a reference. Um, it will not be funny unless you... Uh, it's not funny for me to explain it to you, or funny for you, but it, it would only be funny if you had seen what it was. Yeah. And that explains, like, the entire um, channel, in the main channel, it's Discord. It's <laughs> that all that kind of... Three minutes remaining. That also explains, like, the entirety of my life. <laughs> yeah, sure, but like you're that. not, um... um You shouldn't be defined by others, uh, don't, don't, I mean, I was about to say you'll just have to try to get better at it. Um, I mean, to be fair, just because I say that doesn't mean that's a good reason to do it, but um, that's my opinion. Uh, it is possible to, uh... Uh, um, it's probably possible to learn even without almost any intuition for it. There is definitely, uh, there's definitely, um, about half the time... I can explain why something is funny, I would say, about roughly like half the time. But I mean, I find it funny, and then I then I find it fun to try to explain it also, you know? It's, that's, I, I, I only explain it because it's, it's fun to like figure out what made the joke work, right? That's like a... a that's something I, I, I started to do a few years ago, but I did, never did it before. It's just a fun activity. But, um... That does kind of mean that... Uh, you could, um... Uh, in a sense, learn to uh, at least recognize it um, intellectually, and maybe even use it. Uh, maybe even learn to uh, use it more effectively. Um, in that case, I'm, I'm I'm really stupid right now at like stringing together a good re a good like argument because I'm I'm dodging missiles. Well, I have like literally had that for my whole damn life. It never got better. <laughs> So, I guess that's just gonna be something that stays me forever. Pressing in. Missile fired. Miss. That's a miss. Oh, you're mine! You're losing. Show me what you've got. Oh! I saw it. I saw it. Seconds in advance. But my favorite looking plane is actually the F-16. Really? That's the... Yeah. That's the most boring answer in the world. Because back, back in the day, the F-16 was the coolest plane. Apparently. Or, like, uh, as a kid. Um, I, I've never, um, uh, I've never ever ever... Like, bothered with favorite planes since I was a kid. I only did that as a kid, at some point. Um, it's like, I actually thought about like, Oh, this plane looks cooler than this plane, you know? And then, you know, fast forward to today, and I'm playing this game, and like, it's relevant, it's a relevant piece of conversation again. But, um, yeah, I remember in the, in the past, yeah, the F-15 was like the coolest plane. It was before the, but at some point the Joint Strike Fighter became the, uh, the new cool plane, you know what I mean? Well, it's not for that reason, it's mainly because, um, in my younger age, 
hundred times in my life. I played um, on the Xbox a game called Hawks 2. And I actually managed to beat that game in the F-16. Which is why it's my favorite plane, because it was a plane that could do the whole damn game. Hmm. Although the last fight was horrible, because you were fighting amongst like the super end planes with an F-16. <laughs> it took an hour. Just because I couldn't hit them. I remember in single player, Hawks had that, uh... They had that, uh... I, I played the first one, I didn't, I didn't bother buying the second one. I wasn't very impressed with the first one. Um... But I did remember they had that really weird mechanic where, uh... The, uh, they, they would, uh, they would give you, like, a path to fly, and you would end up behind the enemy, as long as it was, like, an AI. Um, I, I have no, I have no faith that was, like, a smart maneuver. I think what they did was, they just made the AI fly in a certain way, where it was guaranteed that upon, upon exiting that, that path, uh, you would end up behind them. I think, I think they just made the AI fly really badly whenever you initiated that, like, um, obstacle course mechanic. I don't or, or, think that's was actually, that in the second one where you could you could just like push a button and like be guided behind in this fancy maneuver to end up behind the AI ship? I don't even know if there was a button for that. Oh. I at least never had had it used. And I spam buttons when I'm trying to learn a game. You see like which one does what? I think it's time. I don't think it might be time for EML. Are you flying the Foxhound? Yes. Was that ever a cool plane? The flying fluffball. I'm sure it's um I'm sure it's like an alright cool plane. Because like the MIG um in the same way as like the, the Mirage is like the beautiful plane among plane connoisseurs, uh, which I disagree, I contest. Uh the MIG is definitely a badass plane because it's it's the it's badass in Top Gun. <laughs> the Griffin yeah. E looks also somewhat cool. For, for 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 normies, yes, the Mig is extremely cool, extremely badass. The Mig, the Mig wears sunglasses. Okay, those cool cool '80s sunglasses at the beach yeah, in 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 Florida and Miami. Okay, it does. Maybe you need to like. Get 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 a leather jacket. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. 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 This game. This game should be streamed fucking naked because you get so hot playing this game. You need to cool your head. You need to maximize heat dissipation when playing this game. But then I can't use my webcam, so I don't. Um. You can wear uh swimming shirts. No. 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 You don't understand. If you reveal, if you ever show your nipples oh, yeah, really or your interested. shoulders are bare. Uh, or you, or you somehow accidentally show that you don't, you're not wearing socks or whatever. All of this stuff counts and gets you banned, apparently. Can be. I think in practice you don't get banned for bare shoulders or really nipples, as long as it's not like, you know, in focus, you know what I mean? I think it's just, a, it's just the usual Twitch stuff where they, they have a rule for, uh, for a lot of things. Well, they have to have some limitation. Yeah, what what I mean is like the the, the way the way Twitch works is that um, how they work in practice is that uh, they there's something they don't like, and then they just say this is unacceptable because it breaks this rule that we just made up that covers you. Um, basically. Yeah, that there are limitations, and then then there's what what Twitch likes and doesn't like. There, there's selective enforcement you, you of the rules the that exist. Yeah, but, but you can't break what Twitch likes and doesn't like. Yeah, because because if if you if you break what Twitch doesn't like, then the limitations will uh, become to con conform to the to what Twitch doesn't like, and then you'll you'll be punished for breaking the limitations. You, you can you can break the I rules hope. as 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 much as you want, as long as you have the uh, the so-called uh, Twitches, okay or whatever, that the very vague concept of what seems to be okay according to Twitch. Yeah, I would I would stream for for real though. I would stream this game shortlist if I could, because Jesus Christ, 
I I've thought about turning my webcam off. I've thought about it really hard. But this is like one of the best games to have the webcam on because the look on my face, I bet, when like something hype happens or like or like uh, like a, when when something like come on, you know, like when I bet that I bet this is a game that makes me look very expressive. Uh, your concentration face is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I bet, I bet. I'll actually, I haven't looked at my VODs while playing this game. I'll have a look, because I'm actually really curious what I will look like. I looked at Beagle when he played it, and he looked like he was concentrating. Oh my god, it's like, uh... Mm, uh. <laughs> and he was like, he was like moving around whenever the jet was like spinning and stuff. Like he couldn't not do it, and I can't either. <laughs> yeah, and whenever a missile comes, he like literally moves his head out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, I know. <laughs> it's impossible not to. Um, you know that won't help you touch the missile, right? Yeah, sure. But uh, I'm sure the um, I'm sure the, in the the fact that I'm able to project uh, the situation as being you know real, I'm sure that helps my performance though. Uh, there has been a time when um, th there's there's one very interesting thing that happened once in my life when I was playing this game called Planet Side, and long story short. Um, I only had one bullet left, and I was the tail gunner of this, uh... It's technically a dropship, but it has an armor-piercing gun, so it's the one you... you it's... Planetside is a strange game. Planetside is a strange game. The best aircraft for shooting on other aircraft is the tail gun of the dropship. It's not the fighter. Because that tail gun has an extremely fast projectile speed, armor-piercing gun that instantly kills the interceptor ships. So, um... Yeah, the, the the best aircraft for fighting other aircraft is like this tail gun of the dropship. That's actually the best air-to-air -air gun in the game, in my opinion. Um, either way, we were flying about, there was like 50 dropships, I was in a group of like 100 people. It was probably my coolest time in Planetside. It was the only time I joined up with a group. I've thought about actually going back to Planetside uh, and finding oh. a group, but um, whatever, whatever. What happened was... Uh, we were we were we were, we got engaged in this huge battle. There was definitely coordinated activity on the other side. There was this other group on the other team that that got a bunch of planes together and tried to like kill us all. So we had a coordinated group versus coordinated group. It's it's one of the few times it's happened to me in Planet. It was very 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 cool. What happened was we were running low on ammo. I had one bullet left, and there was this plane that was going for my ship. And what I did was because I only had one bullet left, I was so incredibly. Um, Careful. I was so incredibly uh, convinced of the importance of this moment, right? That it managed to, um, it, because I'm usually very detached, right? I don't get like super aroused and pulled along with speeches or, or video games, right? I'm usually very detached and able to keep my head cool. But but in this case, the opposite happened, where I, I convinced myself that this was actually really important, like life or death important in real life, in that brief moment, that happened somehow. It was just really, really, really important. So what happened was that I got this strange... Um, uh, uh, that stuff that people talk about, like when you're in like a car crash, like right before it happens, like uh, it, it's almost like you have more time to react. Usually you don't have enough in a car crash, obviously, but... um. Um, it's mainly adrenaline. In, 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 yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. It was adrenaline, right? In this case, what happened was that uh, I felt like I had two or three seconds to just kind of casually aim at him and shoot. Um, so I just did. You know what I mean? Like, if to me, it felt like time just slowed down, and it was like, yeah, it's just easy to aim at him. I was like, I can just casually. It's, it's like the thing was the the other plane was like hardly moving. It was like, okay, yeah, I guess I'll just aim at it. <laughs> um. And I've, I've never experienced that again uh, t uh, in in a way where I noticed that it definitely happened, right? But um, what I'm getting at is that um, I'm sure that the whatever process makes me move around to dodge the missile in real life, I'm sure that same process also makes me really pay attention to the to what's happening on the screen. I'm not I'm not trying to get rid of that habit. It's a harmless harmless side effect, I'm, I'm sure, of something very useful for for winning the game. It could be worse, yeah. Alright, after this game, I'll have enough um, MRP to uh, buy the uh, EML loadout. Or the missile loadout, actually. I can buy either one. I think I'll go for the EML, though. It's time to experience what it's like to play an even more maneuverable plane and have a weapon that's unaffected by clouds 
and have a weapon that instantly kills people with no warning, no opportunity for them to learn how to dodge me. Um, and better in the front to front because it instantly kills them. So you don't have to shoot for so long and take so many hits to the front yourself. Um, it's a weapon with all the advantages, except for one problem. I can no longer hold down the trigger when I'm trying to aim in front of the target. Instead, I have to very carefully think, is this shot going to hit? And then squeeze the trigger. Because I won't, will only have 20 shots. That's the only problem with the EML. Compared to the PLS. I like the PLS more. I enjoy uh, continuous fire more than this one-shot thing, even though I think the one-shot is better. If, I, if you can get good with either, you should get good with the one-shot gun. But I, I enjoy the, the visual of the uh, continuous stream of fire more. In fact, if it wasn't on such a garbage plane, uh, I think I would actually really like the um, just the machine gun one. I'm gonna get your big body, I ignore and die. You've taken the initiative. Now yet. Did you take a look at that uh, Max Payne graphic novel video I looked at go process? Not yet. Careful, enemy locked on. I'm not fast enough. I am not fast enough to try that. Try the aim while evade thing and then get some hits in on the close. I'm just not fast enough. to hit the ground. Target is in gun range. 
Missiles. <laughs> Is it time to become EML enthusiast? Maybe. Yeah. Hurry up and buy it. Expand EML. We can put three upgrades on it. So it's gonna be this one, I think, and then it's just gonna be the two EML upgrades, honestly. Oh shit, there's like a whole, whole extra bonus meme. You can put a 10, a 10 on it. One of the EML upgrades, get this, costs less, uh, costs less uh, points than the PLS upgrades, because, you know, everything about the PLS is just better. Obviously. I don't even know why I'm surprised. Alright, we don't have EML enthusiasts, though. Ouch, we don't. And not so sharp shooter. Put that on it. Put the zero two on it. All right. Now it's time to work on that last million. That last million will give us the normal missile loadout. Technically, there's also the uh, Quam loadout, where we go for special missile payload and special missile homing or whatever. We almost have it. Like, we only need like a few hundred thousand to complete it. I'm not that interested in it, honestly. Quam is just, uh, ugh. Maybe uh, Sam could be cool. The one you have to aim. All the homing upgrades on the SAM. I hope they nerfed the EML, dude. Or at least uh, something. Like some kind of... Uh...
Maybe I'm just... Nah, I, I might just be salty. I might just be doing it completely wrong. Um, the fact that I get into front, front, front on front with EML people is just, like, silly. I shouldn't do it. Ever. This is AWACS Windmaker. All aircraft enemy picked up on radar. Commence attack. Bring the enemy down I'm probably not going to hit even a single one. Luckily, though, we're not affected by clouds this time. Oh my god, oh my god, this plane! This plane is so good! What the fuck? Why is it so good? Why does it turn so- No, no, this is what I- this is what I knew was gonna happen. This plane is so good at turning. This is like, insane. Oh my god, it's so- oh, it's so- oh, it's so comfortable. Compared to that other plane that I used the PLS on. Why isn't the PLS- if the PLS was only on this ship? That's all I want. I want the- Oh, and it, and it stalls gracefully, too. It stalled in, like, a super graceful way, too. It just recovered, like, so snappy. Careful, enemy locked on. Bravo 1, hit. Target is in gun range. Oh my god, the lag? What the fuck? Not getting a lot of points, but I'm the one time I, or the two times I did fire the ML, I I hit one of them. Fifty percent accuracy is good enough. Too obsessed. Thirty seconds remaining. Missile. Missile in the air. Missile. Ah, I got tears in my eyes there.
Congratulations. Bottom score. At least my tagline is accurate, because I don't have the EML enthusiast tag. So I put on not so sharp shooter. Yeah, what a plane, dude. It's turned so much faster. This plane with, like, regular missiles, I bet it's, like, really good. <laughs> the homing upgrade, regular missiles. What can it even have? I bet it can have, like, perfectly fine secondaries, like, usable missiles. Does it have qualm by any chance? Well, at least it doesn't. It has the, um, yeah, the high-speed air-to-air. Which the guy was using on the other plane, though. Was he? Now the lamb? Okay, it's a different one. I want a full lobby, because then uh, the fact that I suck will matter less. I don't want to go like. <clears throat> I only want to play one v one battle royale or full lobby when I when I'm doing something that I'm bad at. I don't want to be like a two v two and be like the guy that's completely worthless, so that that other guy ends up playing like a two v one effectively. Aircraft addict. Really cool, uh, <laughs> really cool tag. I suppose that one would be appropriate for me, too. Bring the enemy down together. Remember, you're not on your own out there. Your call sign is Bravo 3. Thunderclouds in the AO. Be careful of lightning strikes. Missile evaded. Impressive. Target is in gun range. Waar mij is het voor die? Weet ik veel waar en ik zei hallo. You're not muted. Oh fuck! I switched it around. My bad. I know what you mean. But if I use push to talk, I forget to press the button. And it's not that I learn. Press it. No, I keep forgetting it. Bravo 
Man, what the fuck? The EML is so good! Oh, I knew it! I knew I was gonna be OP. It is. It's stupid. Oh yeah, you wanna go? Let's go. Oh my god, the wind wrecked me. Entering clouds. Nickel. Enemy locked on. Stupid. What the fuck? It's not it's not the gun per se, it's the plane too. I'm down to 13 EML shots, really. Really? I'm down to 13 EML. To be fair, I spent a lot of time being circled there, but like, you don't even run out of ammo. Ugh. F. Air is annoying. Oh, this needs to get nerfed. This is my second EML game, and I fucking figured it out. I got better. Top scorer in the, in the match, second EML round. Ugh. Is there a uh, reaction command where I can say this is overpowered? <laughs> the uh, lobby? I have a feeling the answer to that is no. Yeah, probably not. This weapon... Uh, this weapon is designed in a way that renders other weapons obsolete. Probably be looked at. Only one that's appropriate. Stupid. I hope they nerf this. I really do. Maybe also the qualm, maybe. Hence, um, uh, out of curiosity, how old is that game? This game? Uh, a week. <laughs> oh! 
Uh, the franchise is quite a bit older, though. This is this this is Ace Combat Seven, and there's been also more than seven games. There's an Ace Combat Zero, so I know that there's like weird games. There's Ace Combat Infinity, which is obviously not. No. There's more than seven, and this is number seven. <laughs> Came out a week ago. Number seven of like the the main. F yeah, I guess, or at least the one that has the Project. number seven. Oh yeah, Jerome. about a week ago. It's the, it's the most new, that's the newest one. First one that's ever on PC. I've never played any of the other ones, but um... Can Eagle recommended them. I don't like the eye in this game, because they this always, the if they're gonna see, have a siege turret. Which is basically an artillery turret. But it's not overpowered. But it's just as annoying as hell, because it has splash damage. Enemy locked on. Okay, I have to uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Right. See you later. Good luck. Yeah. You'll need it. Missile in the air! Yep. You have that stupid turret. Target is in gun range. And I can do this shit too, which, the fact that I can, oh my god, dude, the fact that I can shoot through the clouds is so stupid. Like, against the PLS, there's a, there's an enormous counter. Huge gamble. I gamble. He seems a little bit slow. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> uh, you got the email. Ah, uh, he got emailed. Look at the shit, it's so easy! <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> this is my third match ever with this weapon and this plane. Like <laughs> I took my hand off the keyboard, to be fair, after that, so I mean, I died. It, it's the battle of the EMLs. Well, now it's the battle of skill to turn. I didn't hit, but I would have. He wouldn't. As long as I. If I fight him in melee, so to speak. Bravo one, locked on. If I fight the guy in melee, it's all fine. Fire. Oh, shit, it, we're turning now. I fucking stole. Oh, a friend. What happened there? Did a, fr did a friend of mine get him? Oh, 
What's the reload time? Uh, I can measure it. We can try. It doesn't matter. It's long enough that it's like super obnoxious. You only get one shot per per opportunity. You know what I mean? But it's it's really quite fine. It's it's not like super long or anything. Fifteen seconds. Congratulations, you guys won. This is stupid. This is, uh, ugh. It should not fire through clouds. With, with the, in its current, it, with its current, like, usefulness and the plane it's on, this thing should not fire through clouds. There should be some kind of meme. Or, or if it does fire through clouds, there should be some other, like... The balance between this thing and the PLS is absurd. Like, the, the only advantage of PLS, there's two things. One, you get tracer rounds, but tracers work both ways, right? I mean, they help you, but they help them, right? Um, like tracers do work both ways. I'd argue they help you more than they hurt than they help the enemy, but but they do actually help the enemy a bit, right? But at the same time, it's just like it. <sighs> this this gun just should not be on extremely fast turning planes, in my opinion, in its current state, or it shouldn't fire through clouds. Um, I mean, to be fair, even if we make it not fire through clouds, uh, that only brings it even with the PLS on that property. Because the PLS does not shoot through clouds. You, you become immune to PLS if you, if you are behind or in a cloud. Oh, you got the ace and the pacifist. Pacifist, I guess for never firing my main gun. For firing the fewest bullets, Demes, obviously. That, that's what pacifist means, I guess. Yeah. Pacifist is like, you shoot the least. <laughs> Yeah. But you destroy the most. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> it's a creative interpretation here. It's the... It became so peaceful after I killed them all. <laughs> yes. This is stupid. Come on, like, swap these- these two planes need to be swapped. Fuck this shit. This- this- I want this guy, this guy with the PLS, and this guy with the with the e EML or whatever. I'm sure there's other planes elsewhere that are problems too with EML. I'm sure there's like other EML bandits here. Who has EML? I, actually, I'm gonna. I know which one has PLS now because I've I've looked at them all. I've, I'm starting to I'm starting to get to know all the planes. Like I'm starting to get familiar with this screen. Uh, I st I don't know. I can't connect like the name of the plane with their loadout. I can't do that, but um, I do remember that SU-33 is an EML plane. Whenever I see enemy SU-33, I just assume they have EML. It's like every time. All right, this 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 one has EML. Like this kind of shit, I'm okay with, because because this fighter is probably really bad. This is a multi-role, which means it's more of a campaign ship. It's like it's like a half bomber, half half um fighter, you know? Like, low maneuverability planes, th they can carry the EML. In its current state, it's like, you can have the best weapon in the game if your plane is otherwise kind of bad, right? That's okay. That's a fine trade, I think. I'll be back in half an hour. ELS Whoa, who even has the EML? Quite rare actually. No more, nobody has it. This guy has it. EML there. EML here. A good one. Flanker. <laughs> what a name. That's the fighter jet Beagle has to play. Beagle needs to play with the EML. Flanker. 
the XCOM plane. This TLS thing, this strikes me as a weapon that has the negative, the one negative of EML. It combines it with the negative of the PLS, which is clouds destroy it. And for no real advantage, basically. <laughs> the TLS is like, uh, that's, this is like the challenge gun. It's like, it's an EML, except it has the problems of the PLS. <laughs> Maybe it's on a god tier plane though. Maybe there are god tier airplanes that have it. But uh, other than that, um, probably not a good idea. Yeah, there's just... Oh, the EML is really rare, actually. It's just, um... Oh, there's that super... There's the secret plane. The one the, the viewer told me about. The, there's a secret plane, which I guess... Which the enemy ace is going to be using. The, the big boss ace. It's his plane. He's going to be using, like, a secret plane. Like, either a drone or, like, some kind of experimental airplane. Um, and that thing has an EML. And that's, that's the high-tier plane with the EML. There's no... There's nothing with the EML in here. Because there's a secret plane that has the EML. That's like in the... costs 2,500. It's the highest costing plane in the game. Like the experimental technology thing. Like, you can barely bring that thing in the highest tier. And put any upgrades on it in the highest tier. As a cost equal to... Whoa! Actually, if, you ha if it has 20 2,500... Um, if it's 2,500, then putting the EML on will raise it to 2,600, because... Uh, the, the secondary weapons actually add cost to the ship. Uh, I didn't actually notice that until today. It's usually 50 or, uh, or 100. It's 100 for most... Most weapons. I'm gonna verify that actually. Is it, is it 100 for all anti-air guns? Missiles? Is there like a single missile that has a... I think it's just for um, ground-based weaponry that it goes slower. Oh yeah, it seems to be a hundred in general. The the. Yeah, so they all, all, all planes uh, cost a hundred more than they look like because you cannot go with no secondary weapon, or also you probably wouldn't want to. I've almost checked them all. So they all have a hundred. Ground weapons, anti-ground weapons have a cost of fifty. Although, uh, you know, I would rather run no special weapon and save the full hundred if I could, than run uh, a ground weapon and only save the fifty. The ground weapon is worth precisely nothing. Almost absurdly low amount. Um, I'm sure unguided rockets have some. Extremely limited use. Anything that covers like a really wide area in the air uh, could have some use, maybe. But yeah, it's like getting a rocket hit is like getting a machine gun hit times like a million. It's gonna be like even slower than that. The machine gun is a, has a slow travel speed. The machine gun bullets, although they look fast, they are slow compared to the planes. Oh, so rockets would just be pure. It would be pure spray and pray. You spray them into a gr bunch of enemy planes circling around, chasing each other, and you hope you hit. There's no way to aim the rockets, I think. Maybe, um, maybe as like a flyby. Maybe you aim for a collision and you do a flyby, and then right as you're about to do the flyby, you unleash. I suppose like as a melee weapon, they're fine. But the thing is, you can. You can use most normal missiles that way anyway, so there's no point, really. Alright, let's look at, uh, special missile builds. 
We have special missile homing, special missile lock on. So we use homing, we use payload. Um, maybe we use flight speed. For the Quam, we definitely use uh, additional flight time. I guess we use power. We use power flight time. All right, the homing upgrades are two. There's two. It will cost uh, maybe three. It will cost 140 for the relevant homing upgrades. And then there is additional uh, uh, additional total damage. I suppose we go for damage, which is which is 50, and then for payload, which is also 50. So um, there's a um, hundred, or it's it's 90. It's 90 plus an additional optional 50 for speed, which I think we want. 140 for for maximum homing, and then it's a matter of an additional an additional uh, 100 for additional uh, payload damage total. You want the damage upgrade and you want the payload increase. So a full Quam loadout will cost you 240. That's the relevant number. Which means you need um in practice, that means it costs 250. Just get a little free. You can put like a little cheap maneuver upgrade on it or something. I guess you can take the uh, flight time. Oh, no, that's I'm on the wrong missile. Um, we can take flight time off and save 40 if we're not using a Quam. Only the Quam benefits from flight time, I, I do believe. It's like the Quam is the only one that comes around for like another run. That upgrade, that upgrade only affects the Quam really. Um, the uh, Sam. Um, I suppose it might need speed. I suppose it needs homing and speed and payload and damage. Certainly doesn't need um, anything else. Certainly doesn't need additional flight time. Normal missiles. Um, I suppose we want reload because we actually we actually cannot fire our missiles fast enough. Although reload is a bit of a lower priority, I would say. Yeah, reload is the lowest priority. Um, you want. Homing and speed, because speed means less time to evade, so harder to play against. We want power. We want these three. It's, uh, 150. And then there's also this one, which slightly improves everything. So homing and speed a little bit more. So 200. The price for a normal missile build is 200. Oh, an optional additional 50 for reload speed and who knows maybe with additional reload speed you'll want additional payload too so that would be an additional 40 on top 
But who knows? I'll stop for now. I've had I've experienced EML now. I've had more than enough EML for a lifetime already. <laughs> I'm being honest. But I don't think it's gonna be the last though. I think it's gonna be uh We're gonna have to use EML to win. To win 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 win. Sadly. I'll go back to the campaign I think next time. Next time I stream this it'll be campaign. I've tasted the EML, I've uh, you know, gotten pretty good with the PLS, that th those planes just aren't as good as the EML plane. EML plane is absurd. I can't believe I've been dueling. Uh, they, they must just not run the uh, pitch enhancing. Um, I've been dueling these SU-33 people, and I've been, um, you know, it's been a challenge, but I've been able to get behind them sometimes, right? Uh, it is just not possible. With this this plane turns so much faster, so much more sharply than the PLS plane, the uh, MiG thirty one B. The SU thirty three is um turns very quickly compared to that other plane. Um, if you put the same upgrades on both, and they have the same price, you can put the same upgrades on both. Put the same upgrades on both, it's it's not even close. The um. I've only been winning these duels against these um, these um, EML people because they're not running the pitch upgrade. They're running something else. They're, uh, they haven't realized how important um, pitch is. They're running suboptimal builds. They prioritize some something else. And um, if only they were running this, then there, it would be impossible for me to ever get behind them. I would have to fly away in order to break the circling because they would be faster at turning than me. And when I fly away, even into the clouds, they will take an EML shot at me. And they will take another one when I come back in. So yeah, I mean... If you can't outturn the plane that uses EML, then your only choice is to run away, maybe even get shot on the way out, but certainly in the head-to-head -head on the way in. Uh, this, to me, just seems really badly designed. Because, um... No weapon can match the EML in a head-to-head, -head in terms of uh, your chances of, of winning or dying, if you're facing it. Nothing is as... Uh, nothing is as um, dangerous to face as an EML in a head-to-head. -head. Because at least with a, at least with like a missile, uh, even though it can come very fast, it is not, it's not instant, and it doesn't have the range of the EML. There are missiles that have ranges that, you know, I think the EML has like infinite range, but there are missiles that have absurd range. But when they fire, they would take a long time to reach you. You will always know that it's coming. It's it's only my greed with the PLS, because I want those long range PLS head to head shots, right? It's only my greed that I only do like a little bit of a, I only do like a little bit of a barrel roll, right? Or like a little bit of a side turn with the intention to get back on target. It's just because I'm greedy and I want to get back on the target that I get hit by those long-range missiles. Those those front-facing long-range missiles, they are a complete joke to ev evade if you actually want to commit to evading. Um, with the EML, not so much. <laughs> Even if you try to evade the EML, you're not reducing the chance to be hit to zero the way you can with a missile if you commit to evading that missile. The EML is still, uh, you don't want to give them time to aim at you, because, um, it's, it's dangerous. And if you straighten, even for a little bit, if you get, like, one, one shot of PLS off, like, in the amount of time that it takes you to aim and start shooting one bullet of PLS, they can also aim and shoot that one EML shot. And all they need is that one shot, whereas you need, uh, you know, I don't know, five? If, if they all hit, they're not going to all hit, but, you know. I don't know, it's just... It seems strangely designed. It seems very, very, very... 
very favorable to play SU 36, 33 with email. I uh, other than for style, I I cannot just I cannot justify playing the MiG 31 anymore, at all. It's just not viable compared to that other thing. I, it's it's only working because I'm facing people that let it work. Really, the, the EML on that, the EML on the SU-33, just, it needs to be removed. No, they don't even need to nerf the EML, just give it to bad planes. Just don't, don't give it to like the best, the best turning plane. <laughs> just don't. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Give it to the multi-rolls. <laughs> give them something cool to play with. As a price for how sluggish they are. 